I started doing this new thing called a bear yell to get psyched up. It goes like this. <laughs> Hi, it's Trixie Mattel exploring the magic of Beauty Bakery. Hi, it's me, Trixie Mattel, and welcome back. If you're new here, I'm a world famous drag queen with a passion for makeup artistry, specifically a passion for a brand I love so much, and that brand is Beauty Bakery. Beauty Bakery, if you guys don't know, it is a brand owned by a woman who's a friend of mine. Her name is Kashmir. She is a woman of color. She is a mother. She is a cancer survivor. She is somebody who is kind of the American dream. Kashmir had an idea to create a company where all the products looked like they were from a bakery, but they were very high quality professional formulas. And girl, she snapped. All the packaging and names and everything are just incredible. I went to Kashmir's grand opening of Beauty Bakery. She threw like a big party in the hills and I was lucky enough to get invited. And Kashmir was so nice. And I mean, me as a cross dresser, getting invited to like a fancy cosmetics party, I just felt so lucky. And I've, I've been a huge fan of Beauty Bakery ever since. I bought all of the products today with my own money. With my own money. I will say that after I made my purchase, Kashmir reached out and refunded it, which was very sweet, but I was very prepared to uh, just pay for all these products because I love Beauty Bakery. I'll actually use these products. So anybody from Beauty Bakery, if you watch this video, I just love you guys. Cashmere and everyone, you make beautiful, beautiful, beautiful products and I can't wait to show them to some people today. Unsponsored, unsponsored video. By the way, before I glue my brows down, please subscribe. We have new videos every single week on this channel. We're cooking with Easy Bake Ovens, we're drinking, we're putting on makeup, we're uh, sometimes watching 10 year old videos of me and trying not to throw up. So I'm gonna glue my brows down and we'll be right back. I love wine. I love it. And wine is one of those things that just seems fancy, it seems worldly, and it feels like if you don't know a lot about wine, you feel unable to contribute to a conversation about wine, but, all that can change. Today we're talking about bright sellers and I'm one of those girls, I love trying wines I've never had before. I love sharing experiences with people. So at Bright Sellers, they match you with wines from all over the world curated to your palate. It's very easy. You take a seven question, completely non-snobby wine quiz and that helps basically match you to your dream date of a bottle of wine. It's so convenient. They send the wine directly to you so you don't have to go to the store. I don't drive, you guys. So something like this, wine delivered to my door, it's life-changing. If you don't like a bottle in your shipment, just reach out and you can get something new in your next shipment. As an added bonus, you get educated about these wines given to you so you know what you're drinking and you have a fun thing to talk about to impress people. The wines come in boxes. Oh, it's not heavy. I'm just weak. Finish your happy dance, your wine experience has arrived. Here's the wine card, you guys. It tells you the ABV, it tells you the flavor profile, it tells you the ideal temperature to serve it at. I don't know this stuff. It even suggests the right pairing for a meal. I mean, that is fancy. And you have an opportunity to rate the wine. Oh, it's adult Pokemon cards. I feel loved. There's a whole nother layer. I've come a long way since college drinking warm wine out of a bag at a house party. Now. I'm fancy. Dead stars and black holes. I wanna try this one. It's 4 p.m. right in the middle of my work day. Is it okay to have a sip of wine? Yes, it is. Look how pretty that is. Ah, oh, this Californian Pinot Grigio is sustainably grown and showcases flavors of grapefruit and lemon with a hint of tropical pineapple. The way I'm gonna have a person over and serve them a bottle of this and go, it's made from sustainably grown grapes. You're welcome. You guys can get 50% off your first six bottle box through me. Just go to the link below, get started by taking the taste palette quiz and getting set up with your personal wine matches. Bright Cellars is the monthly wine club that's gonna match you oh, with a wine that you'll love. So delicious and so refreshing. Thank you to Bright Sellers for sponsoring this video. You guys, try Bright Sellers and get matched today with a wine that you're gonna love. Cheers. All right, so I've glued down my brows and we can start in with some Cosmeceuticals. Now, let's start with some skin. I have actually had this product before. I brought a knife because, you know, opening product is a very delicate process. So this is the baking oil, Wake and Bake Baking Oil, stunning. Whenever I have a product like this, I always feel like I have to be an influencer and drip it on my face. 
Gently massage two to three drops onto clean skin. Allow baking oil to absorb to skin before applying makeup. It does smell good, but I used this for like a whole half year once on tour and I loved it. It does um, disappear into the skin very quickly. This shirt's from Drag Queen Merch. I know you guys are gonna ask. Drag Queen Merch, Drag Queen Merch. We have some very exciting opportunities here. These are the Beauty Bakery Blending Eggs. It's kind of a gag because they look like real egg containers. I wouldn't be surprised if they actually had these egg containers made by real egg people. Egg people, not me, but little eggs. Isn't that cute? They also have a version that's all natural. It's like eggshell, cocoa colors, like neutrals, organic eggs. So I picked up the Aqua Glass foundations in two different shades, and I also picked up some of the Insta Bake concealers in a few different shades. I didn't know what shade to get. I really went all over the map. I will say, anytime you're shopping with Beauty Bakery, unless you get to go into a store, which I believe they're in Target and Ulta, you do have to, have to guess with the shades because they're not named like yellow one. Everything's a pun. Nice cream, Pretzelvania. I mean, listen, I love a pun. I have absolutely no problem with puns on this channel, but I'm excited to try this. A full coverage formula effortlessly covering anything. We'll just see about that. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Sorry, I have a primer. I have a primer. Look at this. This primer is called The Butter. It looks like a stick of butter. Can you believe it? Tell me this isn't butter. A lightweight hydrating primer that provides you with a smooth canvas. Definitely smoothing, a little bit moisturizing. Like I almost feel like I could wear this without the oil. Very nice, very nice. I'm gonna plug this into my nose. I have learned as I get older, just literally cake primer onto your nose. Because guess what? You are old and your nose looks like goddamn cheese. Love it. Okay, let's see about this foundation. Very good, very good. I wouldn't say full coverage, but I also understand that I need more coverage than a normal person because I'm cross-dressing. Let me try it with a, a brush. This is the NYX Professional Foundation Brush. In the, <laughs> in the theme of Beauty Bakery, I myself am starting to look like an egg. Yeah, yeah, it's better with, uh, you know. I'm using a wet sponge, which I think is shearing it down a little bit. I, I'm gonna be honest, I think that this would be a beautiful foundation for a normal person. Feels very thin. I expect full coverage to be like dermablend, like cover tattoo. It's a medium, medium buildable. Because when I use the brush, I do think it gives me more of a fall. I do think that the water in the sponge is shearing it down a little bit. I gotta tell you guys, it feels good to just do a makeup video. Like, I don't think I've gotten to sit here and just put makeup on in a while. I mean, the foundation's covering my eyebrows. I guess I'm a liar. Maybe this is full coverage. Maybe I need to stop making snap judgments on foundation. I owned the cake batter foundation and I personally could never get it to work. I already like this a lot more. So let's do some eyeshadow. Ooh, I've never had this one. Proof is in the pudding. Eyeshadow palette. Oh, <gasps> oh. Okay, this is like a banana pudding theme. Very pretty, very pretty. So before I start my shadow, I'm gonna bust out literally one of my favorite Beauty Bakery products. This is the Lollipop Liner. I have been using this for years. It is the blackest, it lasts the longest. Okay, so I'm just gonna do a template first because I like to know what I'm doing with my shadow. Stunning. I mean, I'm drawing on wet foundation and it's staying opaque. Get into that. All right, so let's start with some of this. These are beautiful. First off, right off the bat, I'm just staring at this color called Bread Pudding. Bread Pudding. Hello, do you like bread? I said to my grandparents, may I please have bread? Category is things we say on uh that I do not think is gonna speak to people and then it does and I'm like, okay, you freaks. Okay, very soft, very soft color. But I've been trying to do less really extreme creases and just trying to do like softer eyes. Soft for me, okay? So then I'm gonna go on with this deeper color on the bottom called Warm Cocoa. I love the colors. Something that Beauty Bakery does really well that I also think at Trixie Cosmetics we strive to do is, is it possible to have really fun packaging and then have colors you can actually see yourself using a lot? Stunning and gorgeous. Oh, so we need to add some smoke under. He adds some smoke. You guys, that voice makes me think of when I used to work at the mall. You know, in Wisconsin, everybody has like really strong accents and this lady worked at the mall and she worked in high-end fragrance. Standing at the mall, handing out those little squirt cards, being like, go ahead and try it, it's Vince Camuto. It's the new Vince Camuto, you get a free tote bag. Gorgeous, stunning, these shadows are very easy to work with, y'all. I see a beautiful young girl emerging from the shadows. I'm gonna use a little bit of mango pudding, which is this warm color. You guys know I love a warm color on the eyes. I want an eye that just glows. I want my eyes to look like they just came out of the oven. That could be their tagline at Beauty Bakery, like makeup fresh from the oven. If you have an opportunity to buy nice makeup, do it. If you have an opportunity to buy nice makeup and support a mother, a cancer survivor, a woman of color, you also just do it. 
This is looking pretty good. I wanna do my brows. I don't think there's a suitable brow color in here, you guys. So I am gonna have to do my brows and come right back. All right, I threw on some brows with my Maybelline Tattoo Studio, but I have to sketch around it using concealer. So let's see, what's the lightest one here that I got? Girl, I'm gonna be honest, I'm sure I was up late, a little drunk, buying makeup, and I bought a lot of stuff. Ooh, I love this bottle. Very cute, very cute. Instabake 3-in-1 Concealer. Let's see. I'm already right off the bat thinking this isn't gonna be light enough for what I need it for, but let's, let's just see. It's working. It looks lighter like on the skin than it does in the bottle, weirdly. With coronavirus, you guys, if you guys have been to like an altar or anything, it's so hard to buy makeup right now because you can't swatch anything. So like, you just have to hope based on the bottle that it, that it works for you. Are these at all even? You guys, no, they're not. They're not even close. Can I just say something, you guys? I'm not that symmetry girl you knew I was. This one goes up more, right? Yes. I think the solution would be to make the other one go down more. Those are closer. You know what, we're just gonna move on. It's close enough, God damn it. I can tell you I do like this applicator. It applies very little product at a time, which I think for concealer, you want. Hello? Okay, this is not light enough for me. That is a shopping error, I believe. I'm like a MAC NC20 and this is 014. I choose me and it's not light enough. I'm gonna have to get a lighter concealer. So I just grabbed a little bit of the most concealer from Kim Chi and I'm just gonna like pat a little bit in and hope that it kind of lightens it. It's just not light enough. Kim Chi the most concealer is so full coverage and so creamy. You can kind of just like throw it with anything and it's gonna work. See, like I need this. I need a little bit more snatch. Need a little bit more yank, a little more snatch at the gig. Thank you. The dry sponge is definitely working better, but I'm also putting on so much foundation and concealer compared to like an average person. I'm gonna take it on my hand and I'm gonna mix a little bit of the Kim one in with it. Ooh, ooh, I just, oh my God, I just squeezed out so much. Kim, please send me more. Sorry, I know you guys may have wanted to see that, but it took my whole concentration to draw that on. I don't think it's laying down gorgeous. Like if you guys could see this in person, I don't think it's the most smooth application. However, I am on that retinol, which makes your skin like shed. Not a very smooth look right now on my skin, period. So let's do a little concealer. I brought a few different shades. Let's see, I got desert, Desertation, like dessert. Definitely deeper. I'm gonna be able to sculpt my nose with this bad boy. Nose sculpting, thank you. Okay, we have a nose, we have a nose. So we're gonna start to contour the face a little bit. I'm gonna take this Desertation color and start to do a little bit of forehead. Am I starting to look like the shirt? I think I am. It's, you guys, it's not, ooh, ooh, ooh. It's just not laying down on my skin. I don't know what to say other than that. It could be because this foundation was not meant for alcohol consuming dry queen skin who's on retinol. It's just not laying down for me. When your makeup starts to go south, you can't panic because once you start to panic, you start to sweat and then it gets worse and it's just, it's it's kind of all downhill. It's just not a drag foundation and it's not a drag concealer. Um, if I had to go on camera today, I would have started over already. That's where I'm at with this foundation. We're gonna see it through. Did I use too much primer? Sometimes this is why I have a hard time with primers, you guys, because you don't know how much. Kimchi the most concealer is really saving the day today. Congratulations, Kimchi. You are the winner of this week's maxi challenge. You are saving my life from beyond the grave. Kim's not dead. She's alive. This is going to be like a functional look at the end. I'm using Instabake Pretzelvania just to get a little more depth. Oh, this isn't as dark as I thought it would be. I thought this would be a little darker. Do a little more on the forehead. Again, I'm a, I'm a cross dresser. I don't, you know, you, you probably won't do this, but time to powder because I think this is as good as it's gonna get. I didn't expect to not like this foundation as much as I don't like it. So I am just gonna put these aside and put them in the, in the shame bin. And I'm gonna put the concealer in the shame bin too. I would be interested to try these out of drag. I'm not gonna say these are bad. I'm saying if you're a human person who's not wearing it like a monster, I think this would actually be really functional. But this foundation is not layering up, which tells me it's made to be worn in like one thin sheet. But we have some setting powders here. I have flower setting powder in Casanova, which is a yellow, and I have pink, and I think I have another one. Rice. Isn't it cute, you guys, that they come in these little, I mean, tell me these are not like kitchen items. Isn't that amazing? I'm gonna use the pink and the white mixed together. You know what's funny? I don't wanna put cashmere on blast, but when I met her, I was just so enamored. She's so beautiful and so nice. And I was like, so, so did you start this company because you love baking? And she said, she looked at me and she goes, a bitch can't bake. She was like, no, I would love to, but I'm not really good at it. I'm like, I love the honesty. I'm like, I'm not really a woman. We're all being vulnerable here today. I think some setting powder helped. 
It's a little rough. Um, let's just say I'm happy that I'm in my beauty lighting today in my studio. I'm gonna go do a little bit of powdering because uh, you know, I use like my Studio Fix powders to kind of do my highlighting and um, I'm gonna add those and be right back. All right, so I did a little bit of my highlighting, but I have a really cool like contouring product that I wanna try. Now, some of you whores are really shady and when this product came out, everybody was sending it to me like, oh my God, is this the Trixie Mattel palette? This is the Beauty Bakery Neapolitan Bar palette. Oh, I haven't seen it in person. It's so pretty. Oh, okay. I take it back. This was not a shady thing. I, I would be honored to have made this product. This is so beautiful and so me. So let's get into it. The chocolate part of the Neapolitan, I'm going to do my <laughs> shading with it. People have said I look like a Neapolitan bar for years and it's always been like, ha 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 ha. But now that I see this palette, I see it. I do. Oh, I have all the time in the world for this. This is a beautiful color. And I have to say, you guys, look at how fair I am and look how deep this is. Look how buttery it blends out. Maybe as a person who doesn't wear makeup on my skin like a person, I need to get in touch with the fact that I am a beauty bakery stan who does not have the natural beauty to pull off the foundation and concealer. <laughs> You need to have sensitive conversations of reality on this channel. This is beautiful. I love this. This is amazing. I'm gonna use a little bit of this Neapolitan color to do my brows again. If you're not using face powders to fill in your eyebrows, you're not doing drag. I have to use this Neapolitan palette for blush. I have to. I already know I'm gonna love this. I'm about to start screaming. Oh yes. Oh my God. Everybody go buy this Neapolitan palette. I could see this working for a lot of different skin tones. This pink is just dark and muted enough that I actually think really anybody could use it. But that's how I feel about pink blush in general. Absolutely. Absolutely. Beauty Bakery does not make a white liner, so I'm gonna step off camera and do the white liner on my eyes and I'll be right back. Oh, hi, welcome back. You can see I did some brow hairs. You can see my brow hairs. And now I'm taking rice pudding from this proof is in the pudding palette and putting it all over my lid. I use that term very lightly. This is a beautiful color, wow. It's so hard to find like a wheat off-white bone color that has just enough warmth that it's not pink. I'm gonna take a little bit of rice pudding too and I'm gonna put that right under the brow because I think that's gonna be a beautiful highlight. And it is. Oh, I actually think this will work down my nose. It's working down the nose, love it. Oh yeah. These pans are big enough to use on the face. I mean, <laughs> most, most humans probably aren't trying to do that, but I'm not like most girls. I'm disgusting. <laughs> Again, one of my favorite products Beauty Bakery makes, this Lollipop Liner, I'm telling you. If you want a black liquid liner in a pen, this Lollipop Liner, it lasts so long. I know why I like it. A lot of liners like this, you're afraid to really put any pressure on it because you'll like ruin the tip if you like poke down flat on your skin with it. This is like just stiff enough that it does not give. Gorgeous. I have to say this is kind of turning out beautiful. I mean. I have some issues with the skin, like I said, but this is kind of like gonna be fine. Okay, we're, we're in the mascara zone now. Once I have lashes on, nobody sees my lashes, but I've been in such like a curl your lashes or don't do it mode. I think it's because honestly, like in the last few years, I've become a lot more critical of mascaras and I want to give every mascara a fair shot. And so I curl them because I wanna see what they all look like curled. And I finally got my hands on eyelash icing, which is from Beauty Bakery. This is actually hard to find. It must be a hit product because it is hard to track down. But what appealed to me about this mascara is it has a like a squeezy like icing look. So I thought, wow, when I'm running out, I could like squeeze the plastic and coat the brush. I would like to think that this would be probably one of the most like use every drop mascaras. I love a brush like this. Skinny in the middle, it's an hourglass shaped brush. I love brushes like this. I think they really help me get my inner and my outers like lifted up. Wow. Okay, this is a really pretty mascara, you guys. I kind of thought I was just gonna be ho-hum on this, but I actually think this is really beautiful. I did kind of two coats and it built up really beautifully. I'm on my third and it's still building really nicely. Wow, this is pretty. This is probably one of my favorite mascaras I've used in a while. Maybe that's why it's hard to track down. This is really good. Wow, sleeper hit from today. This is stunning. I mean, it's definitely holding the curl. Maybe that's why I like it so much. Wow, my lashes are like doing this. I'm gonna go put on lashes and I'll be right back. All right, so I am back. I am stunning. I am gorgeous. I This is so beautiful. I have to say, I don't know why. One of my favorite looks I've done in a while. I think it's because I'm not used to seeing myself with very little eyeshadow on. Like this is pretty light for me, don't you think? It's time to do some lips. I picked up some stuff that honestly, I had never even tried before. Their lip liners at Beauty Bakery are called Sugar Sticks. Look at this lip liner. Come on. I think I got like a deep brown and like a, a mid brown. 
And I am really starting to look like this shirt. <laughs> Sugar Sticks Limp Liner in Creme de la Crumb. Okay, this is my kind of lip liner, like a plum brown girl. If you're at home and you don't have a liner this color, you need to love yourself, okay? This is so nice. You guys, look at this packaging. Come on, give me a break. The only thing I would say is it's probably, it's a little heavy for your makeup bag. I'm just gonna say it, they're a little heavy. And then I'm gonna go in with a uh, toasted marshmallow and just do a little bit of dimension on the edges. Wow, do these colors go together perfect or what? These are so cute, I can't get enough of it. These are so cute fortune cookie oh this looks pretty all right this is one of their iconic lip whips if you haven't had these before you guys you are about to make a lifelong commitment these lip colors stay on wow i'm gonna be honest this isn't the type of color i would have thought i would like but i really like it oh i wow okay i love this color I gotta tell you guys, for a liquid lipstick, this feels so thin. Okay, I'm just gonna be transparent, okay? Uh, Cashmere has been sending me lipsticks for years and I just, because I heard they're extremely hard to get off, I have been not using them because normally, if I'm on set for something, I need to do quick lip changes and I'm afraid of doing something like this that's gonna be like a lifelong commitment. But now I'm thinking like, wow, for tour, this could be really nice for me. That is so pretty. All right, we are really out here, bitch. I mean, this has turned out to be a really beautiful makeup. Really like these like nice, warm, gingery colors on my face. This is really trippy to see this though. <laughs> and then there's a highlighter in here that I have to get into. The middle of this Neapolitan palette is a highlighter. Looks very glassy, very sheer. Uh, we are doing highlighter today, bitch. The Trixie Cosmetics highlighters are a little more subtle. This is like, woo! This is like Jeffrey or something, like a lot. I'm not sure this is normally my thing, but I like it. I do, I like it a little bit. I like it a little bit. I'll do a little bit on the end of the nose. We have highlighter on this evening, folks. So I'm gonna put on some drag and I will be right back. We're really doing the flat wig. All right, ooh. Ooh, okay, um, I wanna wear a gloss, but honestly, now that I have this super long straight hair on, I'm afraid of getting it stuck to my mouth. But I did buy a gloss, what did I buy? Oh, that's beautiful. Like a clear rosy color, okay. Mm. I don't wanna get it stuck in my hair, so I'm not gonna put it on. As a finisher for this look though, we have a lovely spray. We have the Beauty Bakery Sweet Grace Baking Spray. Oven Fresh, established 2011, must haves. I used to use this actually, I have used an entire bottle of this. Woo, that is, woo. That is, I will say, I remember using this and I do remember that the second ingredient is absolutely alcohol because woo. Uh, first of all, Beauty Bakery, I mean, I just, I already love these products and today I found some stuff that I will be using and using again and again. God, I'm gorgeous. So right off the bat, I have to say, I really wanted to like this. The Butter Silk Primer, I think I used too much of this. Roll the footage. Remember the beginning of the video with me packing it on my nose? And then later on in the makeup, the foundation wasn't sitting correctly. I think I used too much of this and I think I will try it again. Girl, I'm telling you guys, some of the most beautiful sponges that I think are available on the market are from Beauty Bakery. They're huge, they hold a lot of product. They're just beautiful. Please get these. If you're looking to make your first order, this should be at the top of your list. Oh, I love this product. The Beauty Bakery Wake and Bake Oil. It smells good, it's very gentle, it soaks into the skin very quickly. I think this was on the Moving Parts Tour. I had like three of these and I just, I used them all the time. I used them after makeup, before makeup. Really, 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 really good. Insta Bake Foundation. I'm gonna say the jury's still out on this because I had a lot of problems with this today. I had a problem with getting it to be full coverage enough. I had a problem with the way it laid down. I had a problem with the way concealer laid on it. I had a problem with the way powder laid on it. Ultimately at the end, end of the makeup, it kind of looks fine. So I can't say it was a total flop Tina Aguilera, but if you are looking for medium, kind of like natural full coverage, I think this would be beautiful. It's obviously not a drag foundation, so it just didn't work for me. Same as the three-in-one Instabate concealers. These didn't quite work for me. However, I could see myself using this one on a drag. They just didn't lay right. But again, I couldn't tell if they weren't laying right because of them or because of the foundation or because I used way too much of the butter primer. So I really couldn't tell. The jury is still out, but I do think as a human woman, you at home or man or other identifying, you could get some real like human use out of this. Proof is in the pudding. This is beautiful, you guys. This worked so well. Look at that like warm pumpkin-y color that's just haloing my eyes. I used rice pudding under my eyes. This is really nice. I think anybody could use this. It is so cute. 
Wow, super, superstar alert. This Neapolitan Bar face palette is so beautiful. I'm probably gonna put this in my set bag because now I have a backup highlighter blush and a contour. That's nice. Superstar product alert. This eyelash icing is one of my favorite mascaras I've used in a while. Wow, it layered beautifully. It held curl really well. So curling and then mascara, this is amazing. This is going in the must have pile. You guys need to get the blending eggs. You need to get this. And I do think you all need to get this Neapolitan palette. I think these are musts, musts, and musts. All right, Flower. I have had this a few times before. It's a beautiful product, especially if you're somebody whose skin lacks a little bit of warmth. This pink one is really, really subtle and really beautiful. I would pick up the pink one, whoever you are. These sugar liners are beautiful. I love the packaging. I love the colors. The price point wasn't bad for me. These are so cute. The only thing I'd say is, you guys, these are pretty heavy. This could hurt somebody if I threw this. So. Be careful. Um, wow, this lip whip in fortune cookie. Look how pretty this is. I am going to put this in my kit. If I could find a slightly pinker version of this, holy shit would I wear this. Like, I'm gonna pair this with Spice Lip Pencil from MAC. This is so nice. This is the lightest liquid lipstick I've ever worn. It feels like I skipped lipstick. I've heard that a grapevine, if you don't get the lip, uh, lip whip remover, you are in trouble. This lipstick stays on, so be careful. And then finally, for a setting spray, I'm a little bit like the snake oil police on setting spray. I don't know if setting spray really works. I have probably 40 setting sprays in that drag room. Do I use them? Yes. Do I think they make a difference? I don't know. However, I will say this. If you're having some issues with the texture of your skin, like I was, a setting mist really does, at the end of your makeup, even it all out. It almost melts the layers together a little bit so that you don't end up with makeup stacked on makeup stacked on makeup like I was having. This really does like whew, smooth it all out. So this is nice. I mean, this is probably my third can of this, so I can't say I don't like it. All right, if you guys have a product from Beauty Bakery that you like, please share it below. I'm really interested in trying more of those lip whips. So if you have another shade you like, please tell me. Thank you for joining me. I really appreciate it. Congratulations to Beauty Bakery, an indie makeup company that has entered Target, Ulta, just incredible company, incredible products. I will see you guys very soon. Have a blessed day. Goodbye.